we're gonna start the vlog by saying that if you have never cooked spam on a motherfucking George Foreman, you ain't a true southerner. So we're back again with another video, a little update video. I had a package come in today. I put it in my bag because I didn't want to carry a goddamn box all over the place. But shit. So I got a box today, StockX order today. Very happy with this order. I ended up spending about $52 on this pair of shoes. I've had this thing with StockX where I kind of am like, I don't know if I'm just trying to see how, I guess, how cheap I can actually get with the shit that I'm buying on StockX. With $52, this is a pair of PK NMD R1s. So uh, let me get the box open. I gotta find a fucking box cutter and then we can open this thing. So we found a pair of scissors. Pick these up, like I said, $52, super, super good steal. Boost is not, so it's not so much that Boost isn't alive, Boost isn't dead, there's none of that shit because like with the reflective Yeezys you're seeing, I think the black reflectors last time I checked were like fucking $12.50 for a 12, like a 12, which is absolutely insane. Yeezy hype I think is back. Um, the glows are pretty sick. I like the glows a lot, um, but I'm just not, I'd, I battle if I want to buy a pair of Yeezys and if I don't want to buy a pair of Yeezys because like I don't really fuck with Kanye anymore because obvious things. But yeah, I don't, it's, there's a lot of cool colorways coming out. I think Yeezys are one of those things that are kind of just more common that you're going to see them. So it's pretty interesting. I saw today uh, two dudes came into work and I had pairs of Yeezys on. But yeah, and I don't live in a metropolitan area. Yeah, let's get this box open right here. Super, super excited for it. I think I use the term super, super excited a little too much at times. I'm trying not to sound fucking repetitive during the vlog. Bubble wrap, obviously. Stock X, thanks for the bubble wrap. Good fucking looking out. This box fit perfectly in this. It literally is like perfectly in this box. I'm gonna just rip the box, fuck it. And there goes the box. Size 12. PK NMD. So yeah, we got a size 12 PK NMD R1. This is the Energy Ink pair. I got these for $52. So regular old school NMD box. I like the new NMD box, but I don't know a lot of NMDs. I don't know a lot of NMDs that are coming in that new box. The, let me grab it real quick. But yeah, you have the newer box that's right here. I got this with my Marvel NMDs, which I also got for like 67 bucks or something like that. But you have the slide out with the Adidas thing on top when this one kind of just have regular old fucking shoe box you've seen a million fucking times so we have the pk nmd r1 it's not like a must-have shoe if you are an adidas person or if you're an nmd person but i really like the colorway i like purple i'm a ravens fan like i've shown with uh, the ogs i like purple i like black i like the way it looks all right, a little order thing right here back here so and i think i'm on a fifth order five i think it's every five orders you do you have free shipping so the next shoe i get is gonna have free shipping and these are sick i like this um show them kind of right here we have the energy ink nmd r1 it's a pretty cool shoe i really do like a lot about this shoe um it's ribby it's got the little ribbing ribbed for your pleasure kind of <laughs> but yeah we have the pk nmd r1 right here verified nobody's faking this shit right now i think if you're buying nmds you don't really have to worry about fakes of new ones that are coming out because i don't think really too much uh fakeness is coming out but yeah these are sick i like the purple that purple is really bright uh, i got a size 12. sometimes i like to go a half size down on nmds um but sometimes i just i like a, i have a wider foot so i don't like it to be too uh shallow in there but yeah this is a really cool shoe i really enjoy the colorway on it I wanted it in, this is my second R1, and I wanted an R1 with the black on these because I have the marble ones, but it's white and you don't really get to see the blocks. And when I'm walking, I kind of want to see the blocks. We're wanting old things. And then right here, obviously, it's a lot more raised than it looks. Uh, they are raised a lot. Um, oh, yeah. And it's got like the little lining thing that's right there but they're like padded almost but yeah that's an interesting little like feature i didn't realize that with these i've never i haven't seen these in person so i kind of like took a whim on what i was wanting but i like it i think it's a cool looking shoe um it's a cool little pickup i like the color i think that it's a good little um 
just change of pace i've been trying to wear some different stuff trying to mess with different colors and this is definitely different so uh let me get on foot of these and then we'll get some close-up shots and then i think we're going to talk about something that's kind of completely different than anything we've ever talked about all right Yeah, that's the on foot. I really like these. I'm on feet still. I really like this shoe. It's very purple. Very fucking purple. Um, <laughs> purple ribbon all stars. Like, I be on that purple motherfucking UGK purple. Buy it if you want it. Super cheap. Uh, NMDs, if you are new to Boost, is kind of like the best entry level ever because you have the EVA that you're used to, but you have that beautiful boost. But anyways, enough on the sneakers. That's a shoe. Go fucking buy it if you like it. That's what I did. Last note about the shoe. The marble NMDs, I looked at it. The pull tab on the back of these is shorter. I don't know why. I don't know if that's just some weird fucking like design thing that happened with that shoe or if it's all of them that are that way. I'm getting more NMDs because they're cheap as shit and you might as well just buy them when you want them. So like I said, I was going to talk about something kind of completely that we've never talked about and it's kind of a personal thing, but at the same time, I just wanted to throw it out there. The topic I want to talk about was death anxiety. It's kind of like a weird ass um, transition to that. There's no real way to transition to this conversation. I have death anxiety from a car accident that I had a couple years ago. Um, I'll probably put a picture like right here. Of the wreck. It was fucking terrifying, um, but it totally changed out my outlook on life and the universe and God and religion and faith and it's not really in a way that you usually would think it would without having to go through the whole story this accident i really like i felt really alone when it was happening and it was a very eerie feeling and i had very weird dreams the days after and parts of post-traumatic stress disorder sometimes is that you know it takes years for it to show up and it can develop over time without you even really being aware that it's even developing a thing that i got through that was death anxiety and death anxiety is to me more of the getting scared of death in the idea of it not so much that like i'm gonna die because like the other night i had a i hadn't had one of these i don't call them attacks because i don't feel attacked it's just like the ultimate harsh reality it's besides shoes it's besides everything else you know the vlog i like talking about this stuff but it's not a sneaker channel it is not an anime channel it is not a figure channel it's not any of that this is just a vlog this is where i want it to go and this is kind of the direction that i'm hoping that it takes with you know me doing music and just traveling and trying to let you guys in on my life but that kind of is a big reason why i wanted to do this part of the video was a couple nights ago I was sitting there and it got stuck in my head and I think I was watching something and it was they were talking about I think it was the Joe Rogan podcast with Kevin Smith and Kevin Smith talked about when he had a heart attack and how he was like oh like I, I, I'm gonna die like this shit is terrifying and so it, it kind of freaked me out when I was listening to it because that's like something I probably think about on the daily since I've had this car accident it was such a bad car accident that even you know when state troopers and doctors and all of them were trying to like tell you like yo dog like you really shouldn't be alive like we're not just saying it because you know it sounds cool like makes you want to drive safer like they genuinely were like dude there's no reason that you should be here and so that always made me lead more into the idea of why are we here there's obviously got to be some type of reason for this am i here to make art am i here to be myself and you know am i gonna have a family one day like i don't know these answers I, and it's kind of the quest to get to the answers that i think are the most important part the death anxiety aspect when i was here the other night I told my girlfriend we were talking about it and I said it was the feeling of when you're going through an AM or an FM radio and you are in between channels and you get that <sighs> kind of like distorted feeling but I said it's more physical when I sit back and I go you know one day my eyes are going to shut for the last time and they're never going to open up and I don't know what is there I don't prescribe to any type of belief system that you know tells you oh this is what's going to happen because i don't believe that stuff because 
every religion that's ever told you what happens after you die was written by a fucking dude that was alive. And that doesn't make any sense to me. It's blunt. It's not to discredit anybody's beliefs. If you believe in something and you are in a place where maybe you don't like people talking or even questioning it, I just hope they, like, I hope people in the future have the ideas that they have but also are able to critically think about that idea and even your faith sometimes i feel that you have to critically think about the aspect of death that really always got it was it is this thing that we're all going to experience it is this thing that is coming for you but it's not going to let you know when it's here and when it is here it's already there like that was kind of like if that makes any sense like when i was driving when i had the accident i didn't feel like i had a guardian angel i didn't feel like there were demons pulling me to hell i didn't feel like any of that shit was actually what was happening i just felt like oh man this could be the end like this is the end of the story and that was kind of the uncomfortable part i wasn't ready for the end i still have a lot of stuff that i want to do and that's kind of you know if if i if I look down the road 20 years and, you know, God willing, I'm still here, I'm, I'm going to look back on these vlogs. That's the whole reason that I do vlogs. Like I said, I love the shit that I'm buying. I love the stuff that I'm into, and I like that there's other people that are into it. But at the end of the day, this is all material useless. Like, it's material possessions which are completely useless in the grand scheme of everything. That if, you know, fucking all this shit disappeared tomorrow, where would I be? Um, I don't feel that we should identify who we are by the things that we own, but it's the things that drive us to have certain things or to, you know, if, if you like fucking, you know, like Adidas, if you like wearing Adidas or if you like wearing Jordans or if you like wearing Nikes or New Balance or anything like that, if you like doing that, there's a reason why you do it. I hope there is at least. That's why, you know, we've always been like always on this channel. I've always said to her, you know, don't buy shit just because somebody's telling you, oh, this is what you need to buy. Don't buy fucking off white if you have no clue who fucking Virgil is. Like, that's just, you need to stay in your lane, and that's just one of those things. But when it comes back into the grander scheme of things, you know, I'm not going to prescribe to something that I may think is 100% truthful, and I'm not going to pressure that onto somebody else. I'm not, the fact that I may not, you know, believe in a certain thing does not mean that I have the right to discourage somebody else who does believe in something. And that's where, you know, death anxiety is an odd place because you're scared about something that happens literally to everybody. But it, it's a crippling fear at a certain time where I, I've never felt anything like it. Um, it is, it's like, it's anxiety, but it's like an anxiety that's uncontrollable because there's no way that you can get it. You just have to distract yourself from it. And I think that that's what people, um, that's what I think a lot of people do every day is, you know, they fill themselves up with material possessions or, you know, a belief system or their job or money or, you know, their art or something, just whatever they create stuff it's literally distracting you from the inevitable doom that i think awaits us all but like it's not a negative thing because anytime that you talk to somebody that's ever had like near-death experiences they're always like man i just i felt so much peace and i felt so much uh i guess tranquility and you reach like the pure point of nirvana which is you know like shit if that's the if that's what it is and fucking i don't really care like but that's the thing i've always had a battle um kind of closing it i've always had a battle between knowing this one part of yourself and then worrying about a future event that's going to happen and trying to reach some kind of middle ground in your mind about how you feel about that and sometimes you know distracting yourself with all the stuff that I listed before, sometimes that's a good way to do it. Sometimes, you know, some, we just like, it's a journey. We have a journey in life. I think that you're getting one opportunity at this thing and you're really going to make it the most that it can be. And I think you should help as many people and you should be as honest as possible. That's why I started the vlog where, you know, I want to get into more conversations about this. I want to get into more meaningful and more, I guess, relevant information and topics because, like I said, I love the stuff that I'm into, but it is not me. And it's not what defines me. Um, I have a lot of things that I have certain opinions on that I want to bring to the channel. I have a lot of things that I believe in certain ways that I feel publicly are, you know, maybe not talked about as much as they should be. But I think that there's no harm in trying to help and to do something good with that. But um, kind of just with news, um, we're gonna. I bought a little GoPro camera because in September. It's like letting people know if you watch the vlog in September, I'm going to be in Jamaica in the grill for a week. So I'll be down there for vacation. There's a wedding going on. One of our, one of our buddies, he's getting married. 
but we will have a vlog in Jamaica for a week, which I'm very excited to do. This is the second time I've gone down there and I had such a beautiful time down there last time. And with these feelings kind of coming back, it's almost ironic because the last time that I went to Jamaica, I was dealing with the same thing. But yeah, so we're gonna be going to Jamaica in September. I'm super, super, super excited. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a good time, but also I think that that place is great for healing and it's great for personal growth. And that's really what I'm trying to get into. So I'm gonna get out of here, you guys. Like I said, I love the shoes that I got today. They're super cool, but at the same time, they're just shoes. They don't really mean anything. At the end of the day, it's just fabric. But if there's no if there's no desire or passion behind it, it's kind of meaningless. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here, you guys. I gotta get to sleep because I gotta wake up in the morning. All right, but deuces. Thank you.